This video is designed to review how to set up uh, navigation in a multi-page document. We've already earlier explored how to create a table of contents. This is a different way of navigating a document. It has some similarities and there are some differences. I'm gonna show you actually two different ways to navigate. One is gonna be using bookmarks. The other one is going to be linking using uh, the styles, the paragraph styles that we used before. So first of all, I have of course a syllabus here, which many of you uh, already have. And it would be nice um, instead of having to scroll, especially if you're gonna post this to a website or something, that there were links to jump you to that section. So th this example is going to be using bookmarks. There's two different ways to do them. So this is one way. So I'm gonna insert, go to the insert menu and select bookmark for each location that I want to jump to. So I'm just going to each of these and inserting the bookmark in front of the text which I want to jump to in the document. And now I'm basically going to use the text that I've already typed in here to link to those sections. So I'm gonna select the text. I'm going to link to that book, to the bookmark that corresponds. Okay, so if I wanna jump down and do grading, link, this will show me all of the bookmarks I have. So now if I click on that, it jumps me down to that section of the course syllabus document. So that's one way of creating uh, different navigations within a very long document. Okay, the second example is going to be uh, a sample student collaboration project or teacher collaboration project, whichever you wanna do. You might wanna create your own template so that you can use it over and over again. And this example uses uh, headers to set up the document. So this time I've created a table uh, that has maybe the group members assigned and the different sections here, whatever. It can look like whatever you want. And then each of the different sections I've identified by selecting and using one of these heading styles. Okay, so section two is set up to heading one, and I and section three, heading one. You've already done this once, so this is very familiar to you. And now I'm gonna oh, go ahead and I'm gonna link to those sections. So section one, select the text again, link, and this time, instead of bookmarks, I'm gonna link using the headings. So I want it to jump down to section one. Select the text, link, select bookmark, or, I'm sorry, select headings. This example is for headings, section two. And so the nice thing is if I'm assigned to section two, I don't have to scroll through the whole document. I can jump down to my section and work on it. Now I also added a bookmark to return me to the beginning of the document. Again, that's just kind of a nice feature. Let me just quickly go ahead and finish these up so that you can see um, how this works. So, and if I was doing this, I would make this my template. And then each time I was doing a collaborative activity, I would just modify it to reflect uh, the new or different collaboration. So there are two different ways, again, and to recap, you can do um, adding bookmarks, which you don't use the, that's just normal text and you can format this in any style you want. And then you just insert the bookmark and then you link the text to that bookmark. If you ever need to edit it, you can simply click there and remove that bookmark. So that's method one. Method two was formatting your document using styles. So section one was set up with heading one, and then you are linking the text to the 
header, not the bookmark. If you ever need to remove one, you can just select it and then remove the link. So choose one method, whichever one you like, create your collaborative activity and submit that for this module and this lesson.